guys, welcome to another video. This week I'm going to be taking a couple of t-shirts and turning them into mismatched sleeve shirts. So I've got all three of these t-shirts, they're the same t-shirt, just different colors. And pretty much what I'm going to do is take the sleeves off of all three of the shirts and shuffle them up. That way I end up with a t-shirt that has sleeves that are two different colors from what the actual t-shirt color is. Getting started, I'm going to take my seam ripper to cut the threads that are attaching the sleeve to the shirt. I'm doing it this way so that it's easier to reattach the sleeve later. And then I don't have to worry about cutting the fabric. To make one shirt, I'm making sure to remove both sleeves from one shirt and one sleeve each from the other two shirts. I also made it a point to keep track of which sleeve I was removing from which side of the shirt. I wasn't sure if it mattered, they might be the exact same piece, but just in case I didn't want to mess up the style of the shirt. So once I have all those pieces separated, I'm just turning them inside out. And I'm just going to sew on one sleeve at a time. I'm using a thread that's similar in color to the main portion of the shirt. And I'm just starting off by sewing any loose edges that I've created from removing the threads that held the sleeve to the other shirt. That way it doesn't fray and come undone or create holes when I sew it to the shirt. And then I'm just matching up those seams. And I'm using the holes that are already in the sleeve of the shirt from the original threads to determine where I should place my stitches to reattach this sleeve to this shirt. I think it's also worth mentioning that the holes from the original stitching did appear better on the lighter color fabrics. Besides the fact that this is a little bit time consuming because I'm sewing by hand, this was fairly easy. I was actually pretty worried when I saw how long it took to remove the sleeves to begin with and thought that I might not actually get this shirt finished because of how long it would take to put the sleeves back on. Luckily, once the sleeves were partially attached to the shirt again, it went pretty quickly. Plus, this is only the first of three shirts that I have to make with these. I just don't want the other two shirts to go to waste. And I did buy them in order to alternate all of the sleeves. So that means still removing two sleeves from the other two shirts and then sewing on all four sleeves total to create two more shirts. And I'm actually pretty impressed with how this first shirt came together. It's actually not very noticeable that I did remove and replace the sleeves on this shirt and I'm pretty excited to get to wear it. It's definitely a style that I've seen before with the mismatched sleeves but I ended up making one myself because they're just really hard to find in the store. So just finalizing this sleeve, turning the shirt back right side out. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next week.